Hey, how's it going, Art Nerds? And welcome back to another video by me, Diddy Mark. And in this BEA beautiful video that I have for you guys today, I'm gonna be making another addition to my drawing like your favorite manga artist playlist. If you're new to me or new to this series, I have already made videos on about seven other artists, the most recent of which being Yusuke Murata. So go, uh, go check those out if you want, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, in this video, as you most likely probably read in the video title, otherwise, why would you be here? I have decided, to be honest, despite what I personally would have liked, I have decided to make a how to draw like Kyoharu Goto game. Kyo, Kyoharu, Kyoharu, Kyo, did I, am I? Am I saying that right? Oh well, suck it up. I'm gonna be making a how to draw like Kyoharu Gotoge, and if you don't know, that is the artist of the widely popular, widely known, and massively overrated. Oh calm down, it's just my opinion. But yeah, they are the author and creator of the manga and even more popular anime, Demon Slayer. So yeah, this video was very, 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 and I cannot absolutely stress, very highly requested. So to be honest, you might argue I shouldn't have listened to y'all and made this video, but it was so heavily requested, I decided, fuck it, I'll do it. But if this video flops, art nerds, I will probably most likely not make another addition to this series ever. <laughs> uh, that's a joke. That's a joke. But I won't make one for a long time if this does flop. Because what happens is people spam a specific creator they love so goddamn much and then I do it and then the video goes on to flop. Because only those fans watch it. And everybody else is like, ugh, that author there, they're lame, I don't like him. And so they don't watch. So sorry not sorry, I will only do these videos when I believe there is a trending enough manga artist that makes all the effort and time I put in these videos worth it. And in case you're wondering, the only artists that come to mind right now that have that kind of star power to rack up views on YouTube right now, at least from my content creator eyes and point of view, are Yusuke Murata, Tatsuki Fujimoto, and Gege Akutami. And I've already done those three, and surprise, not only did I do those guys of my own free will, and not because of recommendations from you guys, but they're also by far the best performing in this series. So yeah, I like to say I trust what I believe is gonna work. Oh yeah, and maybe, maybe Akira Toriyama. Yeah, I think that would do good too. I mean, I would love to be proven wrong by this video doing well, but yeah, enough with the nonsensically long intro. If you've watched any of the other videos in the series I've done on this channel, you know how this goes. We're gonna be studying and examining the artist in question for this video, it's Kyoharu Kotoge. Then we're gonna be analyzing their anatomy style, inking style, and their toning style. And last but not least, I'm gonna use everything we learned by analyzing these three aspects of their art and then attempting to use it to draw my own original character in their art style. So yeah, Kyoharu Gotoge, let's go. So yeah, if you've watched these videos before, you know there's always a keyword I like to use to define the art styles of the artists we cover in these videos. For example, in the last three, for Yusuke Murata, it was deceptively simple. For Hirohiko Araki, it was mannequin. And for Tatsuki Fujimoto, it was simple. So for Kyoharu Gotoge, the keyword I would use to describe their style is the way I describe white girls who wear Adidas Stan Smiths. <laughs> Generic. <laughs> Bad joke, bad joke, I know, I'm sorry. But yeah, for real though, the keyword would be generic. So yeah, when talking about the anatomy style in Demon Slayer, no tea, no shade against Demon Slayer as a whole, I mean, I do love the series. I think it's raw, dumb, shonen fun, and I personally am all for that. But if you wanna draw in the anatomy style of the manga, it's literally as basic as it gets. Like, it's really generic manga art. All I can tell you is, learn the drawing fundamentals and human anatomy to an intermediate, not even professional level and you'll be fine for this art style, bruh. I wish it wasn't as straightforward as that, but it is. For a manga and anime that numbers-wise did exceedingly well, the art within those pages of the manga are not anything special at all. Personally, from my own experience, and don't hate me y'all, when I first opened the manga thinking, hey, I might check this out, this sounds like something I might like or whatever. Then I opened it up and I was like, ugh, nah, this, this art ain't it, bro. It ain't it. So yeah, if you know the drawing fundamentals and you know anatomy decent enough, you can pretty much verbatim replicate the anatomy style. The only thing I would say is challenging, especially if you yourself personally watching have a unique style or a non-generic style of drawing faces, is kneeling the way Kyoharu draws the faces. It's a little bit challenging. It's not necessarily hard, you just need to practice it a bit to get it remotely close to looking like the original. The characters have huge 
cliche manga anime eyes, round heads for the most part regardless of the gender of the character, small noses with little hatches at the bridge of the nose, and a small mouth with a unique half circle oval thing that Kyoharu specifically does. I will say this circle thing below the mouth is what would make me identify the art style of the author among a lineup of other generic manga art. Examples of Kyoharu drawing faces according to what I just said, here, here, and here. And yeah, besides faces overall, similar to Masashi Kishimoto's Naruto, all you need is an intermediate understanding of anatomy and the fundamentals to replicate the style. Speaking of Kishimoto, with the anatomy style covered, let's now move on to the inking style. Okay, so when it comes to inking the way they do it in the Demon Slayer manga, it is nearly identical to the way it's done in Naruto. Matter of fact, I'm willing to bet all you guys' toes <laughs> and not mine, that the author artistically took huge inspiration from Masashi Kishimoto. So that being said, if you want to nail the inking style, I have three key tips for you. Use really, really, really thin line art for the most part. Don't use and by all costs avoid line weight like it's the plague. And lastly, solid blacks, solid blacks, solid blacks. And yeah, just by saying those three tips, I don't even need to elaborate on them. Well, at least the first two. So yeah, Kyoharu usually has thin, flat lines and rarely uses line weight or line variation. Plus, 99.9999% of the time, whenever this clothing or even anything that would have a light color like skin, blonde hair, yellow clothing, white clothing, you know what I mean. If they're not light colored, they are inked flat f***ing black. Gotogei is similar to Kishimoto in that sense. If you want to learn how they do that, then I suggest you look up the manga art and see it for yourself. And yeah, Kyoharu uses white lines on those fully blacked out stuff to illustrate movement or more specifically if they want to convey like um, creases in clothing. Example here, here and here. As for hatching, I've seen Kyoharu use all forms of it, you know, parallel, cross hatching, whatever. The thing is, they rarely hatch their characters. Rarely. And even although not as much as other manga artists, Kyoharu still hatches their backgrounds. And PS for backgrounds? Generic, literally just generic. Same rule with the thin lines and little hatching and understanding of perspective and yada yada yada. And yeah, that pretty much covers the inking style in Demon Slayer. Let's now move on to the toning style. Okay, so when it comes to toning in the manga Demon Slayer, it's pretty much non-existent. <laughs> but for real, I'm serious. Like Kishimoto, but more so like Oda, Kyoharu barely, and I mean barely, Tones. If they do, it's sometimes, you know, clothing and backgrounds to sell emotions and, and reactions and yeah, you get the point. But yeah, toning in the manga Demon Slayer, it stepped out to buy some milk and never came back because that shit ain't present, bro. <laughs> God damn, there's a lot of bad jokes today, man. I'm really sorry. And yeah, with the anatomy style, inking style, and toning style now being covered, let's move on to the part of the video where I draw my own character in the Demon Slayer art style. Okay, so I'm going to be drawing my own original character, Kane, from my manga, Metal Souls. Go check it out on the Saturday DM website where it's published. So yeah, as I'm sketching Kane, like I usually do, I'm putting him in a pose and outfit inspired by the series of whatever author we're studying in the video. And yeah, nothing special about this aspect, because like I said, generic art. So I'm just drawing the human body normally, proportionally correct and stuff. Kyoharu doesn't elongate or do anything crazy to the human body like the way the other artists in the previous videos have. So yeah, I put Kane in the pose where he's about to draw his katana and then I decided to add the water effect from the Demon Slayer anime as I imagined Kane would be a water Hashira. I don't know, I felt like he would be one. P.S. No offense to hardcore fans of Demon Slayer, but the Demon Slayer manga style was so boring to me. Like, it was so boring I was like literally unenthusiastic at the idea of drawing it for this video. So to force myself and hype myself up to do this drawing, I decided although I draw my character in the actual manga style, instead of toning it, I just do it in color cause you know that's more fun and that way I was motivated to actually get the work done. But don't worry, I decided to do the headshot that I usually include in these videos in the actual style so I can at least display what we learned in the toning section of the video. With the sketch done, I'm now inking. And to be honest, one thing I forgot while drawing this was the thin flat line art rule I mentioned, as well as the rule of avoiding line weight. But those techniques are so deeply ingrained in my style, it's like hard to stop them, you know what I mean? But still, as you'll notice, I try my best to nail the facial features regardless, namely the eyes, nose, and especially the mouth and lower lip the way Kyoharu does it in the style of Demon Slayer. I will say also, I couldn't find any reference of black people in Demon Slayer, so I made up how at least I think the author would approach, you know, black hair. So yeah, Mazutov. And yeah, now as I'm toning, well, I guess 
toning and coloring literally nothing special when it comes to this section as well it's just a really flat cell shading technique i use to color this and yeah when it comes to the tone at least when i was toning the headshot like i said there's no reference of black people in kyoharu style so i decided i'd tone kane skin black and i also toned the other half of his jacket thingy too and yeah with that said this is my character kane drawn in the style of demon slayer is it close to identical <laughs> nope i especially think i was way off with the headshot one but as i said earlier in the video my personal style at least to me is so far from the generic style of drawing faces so like i struggled with nailing it a little bit but would i say what i have here strikes a resemblance to the demon slayer manga art yeah i'd say so but like i always say the more you practice the style, the more you inch closer and closer to 100% identical. But remember, you'll never be 100% identical to someone else because, you know, that's the way stuff is. So yeah. Thank you all for watching this video. I truly appreciate it if you made it all the way to the end. Before I actually end the video though, I really want to say like, you know, really quick. Although I call the art in Demon Slayer generic, while yes, I do think it is generic, I do not even remotely think that that's a bad thing. You know, not everyone can be standout unique in their art style like, you know, Murata boichi or asawa or whatever so while i do appreciate the generic art styles i will say without them we wouldn't appreciate the unique ones as much as we do but yeah shout out to my patrons for producing and supporting this video i am so dummy broke right now dude so they make things a lot better for me at least like in my situation so i love my patrons y'all are the realest if you want to support me through patreon yourself and like you're watching me the link in the description is down below and last but not least don't forget to like the video to let me know you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe to the channel as well because that helps me out a lot and don't forget to leave a comment because i read and respond to most comments till next time art nerds it has been i diddy don't forget to smile at somebody today peace and love baby <laughs>